What's going on everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we're testing out PS2 games on iPhone or iPad running the latest iOS 18.4.1 using the Play emulator. A complete different version of the Ether SX2. Here I have already sideloaded Play on this device and the phone I'm using is the iPhone 12 running on the latest version. And of course, it's powered by the A14 Bionic chip. I sideloaded Play using apps like SideStore, more like Alt Server, or the Feather iOS installers. Here, I also enabled JIT on this iPhone. Don't worry, I'll soon do a detailed separate video on all of these, so that you can easily sideload and install any IPA files right onto your iPhone without the need of PC. Here, I already sideloaded the Play emulator using Feather iOS. The app is signed, and the version is also verified. And for the JIT, we are using Stick JIT. It's also sideloaded which is used to enable JIT compilation on the iPhone or iPad. JIT here basically stands for Just-In-Time Compiler, which improves the speed and execution of Java JRE-based applications. But by default, it's disabled on iPhones or iPads for security reasons. Anyways, let's jump to the main part of the video. As usual, open Safari browser. You can get the Play PS2 emulator from their official site. So currently, version 0.68 is on the latest stable build. Here, simply select iOS, same for the iPad, and download the file. You need to sideload this IPA file using Alt Store or the various other installers I mentioned in the beginning. Well, here I have already downloaded some game ROMs as a zip files. Here I don't want to provide the links, as it's against legal policies. You can do search, get it by yourself. Now go to the file manager. Extract the game ROM zip files. After extracting, simply copy the game ISO file to the Play emulator folder as shown. In the same way, you can import the other game ISO files to that path. All right, now I'll close everything. Now let's open the Play emulator. Okay, so as you can see, it starts to fetch the data from the path where we copied the ROMs. Make a note that this emulator only supports the ISO format. Now let's go to Settings, and it's easy to set up. Enable show frame counters for FPS readings if you want. Virtual pad is enabled. Set video renderer to OpenGL. For some games, prefer Vulkan for better results. Set resolution factor to 1x. Enable resize widescreen. Enable JIT if you are running it using Alt Server or it's optional, as in my case, I'm using StickJIT. Now here, select the rescan option to load games into the library. All right guys, now it's time for the test. So here I imported God of War 2. You can see it shows JIT unavailable. Still, you can continue, but it's still not loading. But don't worry, open stick JIT again, enable JIT compilation. Select the play emulator, now load again. Ignore it and continue. It starts to load. Also, you can see the virtual gamepad on the screen. FPS meter is right on the top. All right, it's booting guys. And if we select the menu, you'll see some options. Like you can load state, save state of the game, settings and exit. All right, now let's start the game. But please don't expect more stable performance like on the Android devices, because they have better driver support and also run emulation without any restrictions like on the GT or whatsoever. And here, we are almost getting an average of 50 FPS. Also, the phone is getting hot. I feel it. Okay, looks like the textures are not loaded here. Everything goes to green. Well, no worries. Let's save the state. Try changing the setting to Vulcan. Now load the state where we stopped. Okay, all right. This time at least somewhat it looks better. Let's go to next one. Oh, it crashed. Also remember, this iPhone only has four gigabyte of RAM. Well, we can't even expect more from it, even though it has the powerful A14 chip. Now let's try Max Payne.
Oh, it got stuck here. Anyways, that's all for this video. I just showed you how to set up and test the Play PS2 emulator on the iPhone or iPad. I'll soon do a video on how to sideload apps on the latest iOS 18 without using a PC, and also on how to enable JIT, so stay tuned for that. If you found this helpful, make sure to like the video and also subscribe us for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.